Hey YouTube, today is a special cook for me. I'm doing a collaboration cook with Tom. His channel's over at Cooking with Tom Tom. And we agreed to both smoke some chicken, whatever cooker we want to use and whatever method we want to use. And uh, go to his channel and hit subscribe, watch his video and like and share it and be sure to subscribe to Cooking with Tom Tom. Uh, the method I chose today to do this cook is using my Weber Smoky Mountain and I'm going to hang the chicken on this rack. This is a rack that Weber uh, sells but they no longer um, market it through Amazon. You can't, you can't order it through Amazon but I, I had a viewer that told me if you call Weber directly and request this rack they still have it and they'll send it to you they'll you can order it direct now whether the, he says he's got one coming to him and that was a couple months back now i will like to say at this time another cook channel that i follow is john at raleigh smoke and his link from a cook that he did and it's a wonderful comparison to uh the Weber Smoky Mountain that he's got to a pit barrel cooker, drum. And uh, he found another hanging rack through Gateway Drums. And so you see it right over here. I'll put an insert uh, of him using it. And he has an excellent video to compare the two and how similar they are when you use that rack in the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain. So be sure and go check out John over at Raleigh Smoke and you, you'll really enjoy that video he did on hanging chicken in his Weber Smoky Mountain with a gateway drum hanging rack. I guess I said all that right. All right, let's go over to the cooker and get started. <laughs> Wash this chicken up and go down this backbone. See, it's that easy. So, you can get up in there and work with it. But I'm going to do the other one the same way. And then we'll put some rub on. We've washed these chickens and Patch cocked them, cut the backbone out, and I'm just patting them down dry. Rub a little olive oil, rub that down real good. Oh, this is a Montreal Grill Mates Montreal chicken seasoning. I also have some of my rub. I will sprinkle some of it on there. It's I'll put it in the description box for you. You can see what's in this one. Alright, next thing is we're going to hang these chickens on the Weber expansion rack. I got these hooks from Pit Barrel Cooker. We'll go up under this breastbone, up under this wing tip on both sides. And between both sides, that's what we'll have. That'll work. Okay, this is going to be my setup. Uh, you just unfold this. You can get it upside down and downside up. These fit right on those brackets at the top. These just fit on top of this cross beam here. It's all stainless steel, and you, the good thing about this one is you can slide it in and out, and I have two more of these. I can actually put where I want, and you can hang a lot of meat on these things. I'm going to be hanging my chicken on this today. I've just got my fire in the bottom, charcoal grate, and I do have another rack down in midpoint. In case I have an accident or drop something, it won't go in the ashes. It'll it'll stop on that rack that great and I can pick it back up and, and correct it 
I'm gonna light uh, a chimney of charcoal and put it in the middle there. Okay, we got a chicken on and the meat internal temp of the meat is 47 it was cold I just took it out the fridge it'd been sitting in the fridge with the rub on it uh, going up to 170 with the internal uh, got my uh, temp set at 350 high and 250 low inside the uh, the unit it's up at 326 and climbing now so, okay, we'll check back in about an hour, see how it's doing, and spray it with some apple cider vinegar. What I decided to do with this chicken, as far as sauce goes, I'm gonna use up the rest of this CHS that I need to use, the rest of this PQ sauce that Jay sent me, it's a little bit left, and then this ogre sauce. All of them are mustard-based sauces. Uh, so I'm gonna do a combo. Stay tuned. It's gonna be good. Good on chicken. All right. Okay, after an hour and 10 minutes, this cooker's at 300, and this one at 328, 329, 328, yeah. And the internal is 154, so I'm gonna open up and spritz. See how they're doing. Getting some color on them for sure. Cut. All right, what I'm getting ready to do, our internal temp is at 162. We've been on about an hour, uh, two hours and seven minutes. And we've been averaging around 320, 330. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is take the chicken off of the hanging rack and um, put the chicken flat on the grate that's in there. And I like to mop my sauce on with it laying flat. And it's got that already built in, so I may as well use it. Okay, let's just unhook some of this stuff. So since I'm using two hooks, I'm gonna use two paddles. All right, we'll just bring that out, set it over here in this pan. I'll just take that out. And do the same thing with the other. Just gonna reach in there and grab it. Concentrate. Don't drop. <laughs> okay, and then you can just reach in here this easy and just take this out. It comes out just that easy. So I'm done with that. And here are my chickens. Uh, 
they come out real easy. Uh, I recommend getting the pit barrel cooker hooks. Just go ahead and order you some if you need to. Bring this chicken back over. Place it down there. That's looking good. All right, now I can take the clothes off. Showed you earlier. We're going to now put some sauce on it. When you got a chicken like this, you need to mop. And this is mustard based sauce. And you saw me uh, mix it up. There were three sauces involved the CHS, the PQ sauce, the over sauce. Okay, and I'm going to take this other probe and pick it back down in a breast. We're good to go. We'll let that sauce set up a little bit, not long. Okay, we'll let that sauce set. We'll flip it over and sauce the other side and let the sauce set for about 10 to 15 minutes, probably about 15 minutes. And we'll show you what we end up with. Stay tuned. All right, we're done. I'm gonna take this thermopop, cut it down and go in and check it against this uh, storm by Thermoworks and just see how close they read together. Okay, come in here on the chicken. This is reading 176 internal right there. Let's see if it's anywhere close. 178, that's pretty close. So this chicken's done. This is uh, 177. And that says 176.5, so they're reading together. That's great, that's what I wanted to find out. Let me disconnect this stuff here. I'm gonna reach in and try to grab it. All right, it's getting dark on us, so I wanted to get this in. Isn't that pretty? Still, there you go, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's go in and just take a quarter off there. Get a piece of this. Let's go in. Let's taste it. You know what that tastes like? That tastes just like barbecue chicken. <laughs> All right, folks, that's my cook. It's been a good day. It's been a beautiful day. We've had cold weather and there's more cold weather coming tomorrow and the rest of the weekend. So. We had a 68 degree day today, perfect day for this. Yeah. Um, like I said earlier in the video, this was a collaboration cook. Me and Tom at Cooking with Tom Tom wanted to get together and smoke a chicken. So you go over there to uh, Cooking with Tom Tom's channel and check his cookout and give him some love. You know, hit that support button. He's trying to get his subscriber base built up where he can uh, won't lose his activation in sometime in February for monetization. So let's help him out. Give him some love. If you're not subscribed to him, I ask you to go and subscribe to Cooking with Tom Tom. Well, that about wraps it up. So remember, I appreciate you and I appreciate your support and all those who subscribe to this channel. So until next time, this is Phil in Florence. Bye-bye. Bye. Just hanging out, waiting on the coals to come up to temp. Just hanging out.